pub landlords across the UK are voicing strong objections to Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer's proposed smoking ban in outdoor public spaces, including beer gardens. This new regulation, part of a broader initiative to curb smoking across the nation, has been met with significant backlash from both the hospitality industry and the public. Andy Oliver, owner of Holy Moly's in Skelton, North Yorkshire, and a Conservative councillor, has been particularly vocal about his concerns. Describing the proposed ban as absolute lunacy, Oliver predicts significant negative consequences for pubs and their surrounding neighbourhoods. He argues that if patrons cannot smoke in beer gardens, they will simply step just outside the premises to smoke, leading to increased litter and noise in residential areas adjacent to pubs. Oliver also highlights the financial strain the hospitality industry is already experiencing due to other government policies, such as minimum wage increases. He believes that further restricting where patrons can smoke will deter people from visiting pubs altogether, exacerbating the industry's financial difficulties. This is just something else to stop sales. People won't come into pubs, Oliver stated, expressing frustration with what he sees as excessive government interference in personal behaviors and business operations. Alex Cook, who owns several hospitality venues in North Yorkshire, including the mill in Stokesley, shares some of Oliver's concerns but has a slightly different perspective. While he supports the public health goals behind the smoking ban, he suggests that a designated smoking area within beer gardens could be a compromise that respects both public health and consumer preferences. Cook points out the absence of clear regulations regarding vaping in pubs, which he believes should be addressed alongside smoking laws. He also notes potential issues with noise and litter as likely consequences of forcing smokers to congregate outside the official boundaries of pub properties. Despite the strong opposition, Prime Minister Starmer defends the smoking ban as a necessary measure to reduce the significant health and financial burdens that smoking imposes on the NHS and taxpayers. He cites the high number of preventable deaths caused by smoking each year as a compelling reason for the new regulations. The debate over the smoking ban highlights a tension between public health objectives and the economic and social impacts of such policies on local communities and industries. As the government prepares to roll out more details about the ban, stakeholders from various sectors are likely to continue their vocal debates about the best ways to balance health benefits with practical and economic considerations.